Hi, this is Elise from elisen.com where we help purpose-driven women entrepreneurs and some smart men raise their online profile so that they can be their industry expert and they can charge what they're worth, get more clients, make more money consistently to live the rich life. Alright, so welcome back to this week's video of the week and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how do you reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can have a new belief system. BS in short, right? So why do you want to reprogram your belief system? Because whether you realize it or not, it is your belief system that is unconsciously determining the results that you have. And then it determines the, decis the decisions and the kind of action that you will take. So tell me, is this important enough? Yes, it is, right? So. How do you reprogram your subconscious mind and why do you need to reprogram your subconscious mind? Once again, you know, the famous Carl Jung said, you know, if you don't uh, make your unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. And some people call it destiny and they find like, oh my god, I'm so unlucky, I'm just fated to be single, I'm fated to be poor. No such thing. It's all in the mind. It's all in the unconscious mind that you're not aware of. So let's get started. Let's dive deeper into transforming those unwanted belief systems, right? So first of all, I don't want you to judge yourself because you don't know and if you knew better, you would have done better. So let go of that judgment and take that power back and take that responsibility back. So be 100% responsible for the things that you've created in your life because when you recognize that you have created it, you take your power back and what that means is you can create a life that you desire, right? Alright, so take that power back, take that responsibility back and know that you have created it. Look at your results right now. What is the results that you've created that you don't desire, right? And then trace it back. What are the belief system that has fueled this results, right? It could be, I don't deserve true love. I don't deserve to make as much money. Other people can have it, but not me. I'm not meant to have it. I'm not gifted. I'm not talented. I don't deserve and that kind of thing. Those are the usual suspects for the belief system. So check it out. What does your belief system tell you and create and have or have created results? And once you've identified that and then go and create the results that you desire. I mean, you may not be able to create right now, but think about the results that you desire to experience. It could be getting more clients, making more money, finding that true love, being in that perfect job, living in that awesome house, driving that push car, right? So whatever your results may be, there must be a belief system that is blocking you, that is sabotaging your results because you can have anything that you desire in life. So what is it? You know, so go identify it and then create a new belief system for it and then you must come up with an action plan. You know, the law of attraction seekers, you know, they just believe that I own and then they'll just automatically be attracted to me. No, that's not true. You need to bust your belief systems, create an action plan and therefore you will get the results. Alright? I believe you have a gift, you know you have a talent, so stop being the world's best kept secret and get your name out there. You are worth millions, yes, you. So go out there and get noticed. Alright, this is Lee Sen once again signing out. Bye!